Hey, how's you going, boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grapey's Workshop. I love it when you drop by the shop. Thank you. Uh, I have an unboxing today. Not a project, but an unboxing. Uh, three or four or five videos ago, I forget which now, I did a video about the uh, headboard of my tractor, uh, reviewing the layout of that and whatnot. And at the end of that video, I said I have another modification planned or another addition planned for that headboard. Well, Today I have an unboxing for that addition, and before we get started actually modifying the tractor, I wanted to show you what I got. So let's go over the other side of the shop there, and we'll open up and see what I got for my tractor. Okay, here's what I got for my tractor. It's a, a car rear view reverse camera monitoring system from Lee Kulu. It's model L02. I thought this was going to be great. I'll get this. I'll install the monitor up on the headboard of the tractor, and that was the modification I was talking about. And I'll be able to see out the back of the tractor without having to twist and turn around all the time when I'm backing up. It's going to be ideal. What a great, what a great solution to a problem, eh? Getting this backup system. Now, let me talk about Likulu. Uh, it's a wireless camera backup system. It's got a 4.3 inch monitor. It's got 1080p resolution. Uh, and it was, uh, you know, a mid, middle of the road price range. And when you look on Google, you search the best backup cameras. Likulu have several cameras in the best cameras list, right? So I thought, well, this will be a good system. And it's wireless. You just, you know, plug in the monitor, plug in the camera. Well, it's your uncle. You can start backing up without having to turn around. But when I put this system together, when I received it, I was all excited, eh? I got it out of the box and put it together, plugged it in. Picture come on. It was beautiful, nice and clear and crisp. Good, eh? This is going to be nice. But while I was smiling, uh, the, cam the, the picture went blank and I got up in the left hand corner, top left hand corner of the monitor, a little red icon that said I lost the signal. And I thought, whoops, maybe they're just not paired correctly. It says in the manual that they're paired at the factory, but maybe they're not paired correctly. So I read through the manual, figured out how to pair them, and I paired them up, exact same thing. The uh, picture went out after about, I don't know, a minute or two of use. And then about 30 seconds later it would come on, it lasts for about 30 seconds and then go off. And then it started, it was getting progressively faster and faster and faster until eventually it just, the monitor shut off, it said no image, uh, no signal and uh, nothing, right? So that was no good. So what did I do? Well, I was upset to say the least, but I contacted Leaky Lou. I said, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. And they responded to my email right away, I must say. I sent the email out about 8 o'clock at night, and by the next morning I had an answer from them. And they suggested some different ways that I can try to repair or, or pair the camera with the monitor to make sure that that wasn't the problem. I did that, still didn't work. I sent them another email. They wrote right back, and they said, okay, we're going to send you another camera. I said, well, that's wonderful. So the other camera showed up. I connected all that up. Exact same problem. Same thing. It would flash and flash, eventually go out completely. So this is no good, I want this for a backup camera, it's no good to have it intermittent. So I wrote them another letter, I said, sorry that doesn't work either, your camera is garbage, I don't like it at all, uh, I'm going to set it back. And then they, they contacted me, and this is when it got kind of funny. They contacted me and they said, uh, don't send it back to Amazon, I'm sorry you're disappointed with our product, but we'll refund you directly, the cost of the product. And I thought, okay. But now how do I send the product back to them? I don't want to pay for shipping. One of the things I like about Amazon eh, is if you buy something and you don't like it, don't want it, don't need it, it's not right, you can send it back free shipping because we're Prime members. So anyway, I said to them, I wrote back to Leaky Lou and I said, no, that's not attractive to me because I don't want to have to pay to ship this unit back to you. They said, well, you don't have to ship it back. You just keep the camera. It doesn't work anyways. You keep it. We don't want it. So I thought, well, okay, I'll do that. So I wrote back to them and said, okay, I accept those terms. You can refund me directly through my Amazon account for the cost of this camera. Uh, lo and behold, I get another email from them. The email said, we've credited your account for the total price of the item. Sorry, our item didn't meet your expectations. Uh, but then they went on to say, and this was the strange part, they said, we would like you to... Uh, not do an unfavorable review of the camera because I told them I was going to do one on my channel here. Well, that totally shocked me. Totally. So I said, I'm totally disgusted and I'm definitely going to make a review on my YouTube channel and on Amazon to explain the difficulties that I'm having with your product and that it is no good and I would not buy it. So 
that's the way that ended. So anyways, I ended up trying to get a wireless backup camera system from Leaky Lou for my tractor and the camera and the, the system just didn't work. It's no good. And based on the interaction I had with their customer service department, I would not ever again buy a Leaky Lou product. And to add to that, the, fr the extra camera that they sent me, because they sent me a camera to see if it was just a fault with the camera, here is the other camera they sent me. It was a different model than the one that came with the, the original package. But this camera was made by Rohent. Rohent. R-O-H-E-N-T. Uh, this camera didn't work either, by the way. So because this is a Leaky Lou product and they sent me a Rohent camera, I'm thinking Rohent are in the same bed as Leaky Lou now, right? Uh, they're both trying to make a living by selling cameras. But I don't like their products because, well, this product didn't work. So I would never buy a Rohan product ever again or a Likulu product ever again. I'm just putting that out there. Now, you can buy whatever you want because I don't get paid to do this review. <laughs> Likulu certainly wouldn't pay me to do this review. In fact, they asked me not to. So FYI, folks, that's what goes on. All right. So here I am with... No backup camera for my tractor three weeks later, and I'm steaming mad. So what do I do? I go back on Amazon, of course. I did my research a little bit better this time. And uh, I come up with uh, the idea that I should get a wired system. Because I'm thinking what's happening. Because this is a wireless system. There's, I don't know, some kind of interference that's causing the signal to go screwy. So I, I ordered this. And this system comes from uh, uh, Yakri. Now... I just mean mouth here, uh, Leaky Lou and Rohent. I don't know if Yakery is part of that group or not. It could be, it might not be, I don't know. But anyway, this showed up yesterday. So we're going to open it up today and have a look and just see what comes in this Yakery wired rear view monitoring system. Okay, let's open this up, see what we get. By the way, this is a Yakri, it's model Y14, if anyone's interested. So what do we have here? So here's the monitor, and they say it's a 7 inch monitor, but of course the dimensions are diagonally, so 7 inch monitor with its uh, cable. We got, whoop, we got a nice uh, instruction kit, oh and we got some uh, double-sided rubber sticky thingies. I find the packaging amazing in items these days. Eh? Everything is so nicely packed. It must be terrific when it comes time to travel. <laughs> so here's a uh, one that looks like a video camera cable. And here's the other one that's marked 13 meters on it. Here's a little suction cup mount. Okay, here's the, the camera. And this is a, a solid little uh, camera. It has eight LED lights for nighttime uh, viewing, I guess. Hey, eh? that's pretty neat. Uh, I think if it works, it's going to be pretty neat. Uh, there's the uh, power wire, and it uh, just plugs into a cigarette lighter. And it has a push button on the back to turn it on and off. That's kind of handy. It means you don't have to do any cutting of your wiring at all on the vehicle. So that's decent. There's a seven meter video cable. Here's a power cable if in fact you did want to wire it direct into your uh, electrical system in the vehicle. A bunch of uh, wiring assists, some thumb wheel screws and whatnot. We have this little unit here which is a sunscreen that goes over the front of the monitor to uh, shade it a little bit. And then we have a mounting bracket for the monitor as well and this is metal so there's all our parts and pieces uh, the next thing is <laughs> does it work so I'm going to uh, first of all get this power cable geared up I have here uh, my little battery pack showed you that before I think I'm just going to plug this in here now so when I look through the instructions here, I'm looking through here, through here right quick, just trying to see how this is going to hook up. Okay, I think I got that figured out. Now let's see what we have. So this is where the 12 volt goes in. 
So here's my 12 volt coming from the power source, so I'll plug that in later. And then I have here, uh, this system can take up to two cameras, so you can have a rear view camera or a front facing or side facing or I don't know, some other place position. So there's two video inputs, so I'm going to uh, connect V1 to the camera. <laughs> So here on the camera, there's a, a nice rubberized boot that goes over the connector. That's kind of nice. It's a multi-pin connector, so it can only go on one way. So I connect that, and then there's a, a knurled wheel there that you tighten on the cable to secure it. So that's good. I like that. All right, so there's the camera wired to that. The other, the other end of the cable here plugs into the camera. And uh, again, that's keyed. It's a multi-pin conductor, so it can only go in one way. So that's that. So there's the monitor hooked up. Now, on, the mon on this cable, of course, there's this connector for your second video. There's this connector for the 12 volt power supply. And then there's this blue wire. Now, when you read the instructions, they say, uh, if you want to wire this so that it only comes on when you, when you put your vehicle in reverse, you would make a connection on here. Well, I don't have an actual reverse switch uh, or a gear on my tractor. It's a hydrostatic, so I'm just going to leave that disconnected. I don't need to connect that to anything, I don't think. So now we'll, we'll connect the 12 volt power. Okay, so I'm going to aim the camera over here. I've got the, the bike in the shop right now, so we'll be looking at the bike, hopefully, when this flashes up. And I'll put this in here so you folks can uh, see what what the camera's looking at. I think you can see all that, can you? So there's the camera aiming over to my right towards the bike. And here's the monitor right here with minimal reflection on it. And we're all connected up. I think this should work. Let's see what happens. Turn it on. See some lights coming on the monitor there. Well, that's impressive. Oh, yeah, push the power on button. Ah. Okay, there, what do you think of that? Okay, so there's the monitor, and here's me walking in front of the camera. And you'll see there's, there's no delay or anything in that video. Pretty good, actually, I think. It's nice and crisp and clear. A little bit of a flare there when it changes from a light to a dark scene, but... I guess that's to be expected, eh? There's parking lines available on it. So you can, you know, if you needed parking lines, you can adjust the, uh, the brightness. Well, let's just go in each one of them, select that. So you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, saturation, or the tint. So you can make adjustments to that if you wanted. Uh, what else can we do? M for menu. We can, uh, the car, what does the car do? The car line, car delay, I'm not sure what that means. Anyways, we'll find out when we read the manual a little bit more, I think. And now if we select this, we get, we can rotate the camera, we can zoom it, we can uh, mirror one or mirror two, because there's two cameras, you can make a mirror image of the first one, a mirror image of the second. Anyway, and then there's uh, the system, if we select the system, it's uh, we can select different languages, uh, screen save, things like that. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, so far, I'm liking this system. It's uh, it's staying on good and steady. That's you know that's a big gain right there. All right. Hopefully now I got a good backup system that I can uh, back up the tractor without having to turn around and twist and break my neck. <laughs> That'll be nice. Uh, I'm going to be installing this, uh, the monitor, I think I'm going to put it on the headboard there in the tractor, but that'll be in an upcoming video because I need to get that in the shop here and I don't want to lay the tractor up for any length of time because we could still get some snow before the end of the winter, so I want to keep the tractor available for that, but that video will be showing up here in the next month or so I expect. Uh, also, uh, if you have a leaky loose system, I hope it's working good for you. Uh, the system that I got here was garbage, it just did not work. Uh, and then the interaction I had with the, uh, with the after service people, the, the after sales service people, uh, I, did, I wasn't impressed with that at all, uh, you know, 
Anyway, don't want to say anything more about that. Uh, I don't lie. No one can tell me to lie. No one can force me to lie. So there you go. <laughs> Take care. I hope you have a nice week. Uh, don't forget, thumbs up me if you like this video. Leave me some comments. Let me know uh, if you have a backup system in your tractor and what you use and how you like it. Because I'd be interested to know that. Stay safe, everyone. Have a great week. Yeah.